every year the big companies release new gimbals that don't really have so much new innovation anymore. Today I'll give you my top reasons why you don't always need them and should rather shoot more handheld. Before we go ahead, let's roll an intro sequence that was shot entirely without any gimbal. So first let me tell you a few reasons why I think gimbals are not the coolest thing anymore. Reason number one, gimbals are pretty inconvenient. They have a pretty awkward shape and it takes extra time to set them up. That's why I try to avoid them while traveling because I end up not using them nearly enough and then I just haul around an object that, you know, adds extra weight to my camera bag and so on. Reason number two, stabilization got way, way better. Nowadays, the new devices have such amazing stabilization. It covers most of the basic shots that I like to do normally. So overall, I feel that gimbals are a little bit like 2017 now, and it seems like the great period for that kind of product is maybe over. So I think the trend has reversed and people now prefer to include more handheld footage that looks kind of deliberately shaky. So if you feel that handheld looks more organic and real and kind of want to deliberately create a shaky look, there are a couple of ways to pull that off. Number one is quite obvious. You simply turn off the stabilization on your camera and lens and stop using a gimbal. A lot of people also like to use these top grips so your camera becomes a little bit heavier, behaves more like a rig. I personally don't really own one of those as I don't really find them necessary, to be honest. Before I tell you my tricks to get smooth footage without a gimbal, let's talk about a digital way to emulate camera shake and that is by using a preset in post-production. You can find them online and my favorite source is motionary.com who were kind enough to make today's video possible. Motionary is a one-stop shop for video editors with thousands of assets and all you gotta do is type in camera shake on the platform and then you find a bunch of presets for your editing software of choice. In my case, I filtered for Premiere Pro and after I downloaded it, I simply drag and dropped it into my footage and bam. I actually used the exact same camera preset in the footage you saw in the intro sequence. But Motionary has a lot more than that, such as music, sound effects, color grades, film grain, animated text and so many more cool things. In fact, the entire intro sequence that you saw was edited purely with Motionary assets and a subscription is also quite affordable. It's an all-you-can-eat platform. That means you pay once and then you can download unlimited editing assets. If you choose the annual plan, it will cost you about 20 bucks, which is less than a price for a single preset. Plus, if you use the link below the video, it knocks off additional $50, so feel free to check it out. Okay, to get even smoother results, I can recommend the following tricks. Your arms are the number one cause for shaky footage. So grab your phone or camera with two hands and hold it much closer to your body and make sure you make very careful steps. Number two is using a neck strap and that will put more weight on the camera body and it will be less likely to shake and wiggle around so much. Number three is another rather obvious one and that is shooting in higher frame rates which will then allow you to slow down your footage in post-production and that kind of compensates for imperfections and shake. If you still end up with subtle shake, don't worry about it. You can iron it out in post-production using the warp stabilizer effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I would love to hear your opinion and see if the community still likes gimbals or now prefers the handheld look. Please do let me know in the comments below and check out Motion Array. And if you wanna hang out here on the channel, you know what to do, you can do so by hitting the subscribe button and enabling the bell, but you don't have to, it's your life, you can do whatever you want basically. Don't let any YouTuber tell you what to do.